Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this video, the main purpose of it is to respond to a couple of questions on my Instagram, and I suppose to elaborate and give an example to the answer that I'm going to be giving, and we are going to be discussing today windowless boxes. Now, I know that I'm very late to the party in discussing this, um, lots of people have got lots of opinions on it, which again, everybody's entitled to. I've always sort of sat on the fence with it um, for two reasons. I'm going to show you right now in a second anyway. One, I completely agree with people if they're collecting mint in box and they want to display them, that I suppose it can pose a problem. And I can imagine it'd be quite frustrating trying to dust inside and around it. And of course, we've got the problem at the moment with people stealing heads, people mixing things around and just in any way, I suppose, damaging the figures, which is just obviously just silly. And there's no need for that at all anyway. Um, but and I'm trying to make this not sound as selfish as possible, but from, from myself and where my collection is, um, it's actually helped me out because I've already sort of run out of space. I want to continue to buy the figures and I don't want to throw the boxes away. I don't want to throw the boxes away. I like to keep the boxes um, and I like to keep them as neat as possible. But um, and most people I know are suffering with this as well. And again, this is in response to a couple of questions because I've said on the beginning of my legacy videos that what I like to do is to flat pack them now. And I can give you an example of that. It's it's really not that difficult. It's super, super simple. So I've just literally cut all the seller tape on them and they are all in here. So I've got all of Legacy Wave 1 and the I think they're in America, they're the Walmart exclusive. So the Beasts, Sandstorm, Buzzor, etc. So there's and I've got uh, smoke screen, sorry, Silver Street there. So in this little pile here, there's eight figures, eight boxes there. And then even with the inserts in the middle, even with all the parts of the insert, if I pop these inside and if I flat pack it like so, it's still only as high as one of the normal old deluxe class figure boxes. So of course, this is the Studio Series ones. These have still got the plastic windows and the plastic bubble. The plastic window isn't too bad. It's the bubble inside holding everything in. And, and that's obviously what creates the space, um, which you just can't get rid of. So um, and it works really well with them all. So with the core class figures, you can fold them right down. To next to nothing so i hope i'm just sort of giving people ideas and i'm not just sort of saying this is why i think it's the best um i don't think it's the best i think it's i think we've got to live with it i can't see them going back to putting windows in at all i might be completely wrong don't take that as gospel obviously i've got no no judgment or no idea or no, no say on the matter that's the best thing so i've got no say on the matter at all but i think because they're not going to go away from it i think maybe we if we learn to live with it um because yeah as i say this is two studio series boxes side by side and i've got eight deluxe and two core class figures three core class figures and it's just going to take up the same amount of space so that's just i suppose the physical example of what i wanted to say that what i've been saying what i've been saying at the beginning of my videos so for me it's it's helped me out immensely the fact that i can just do that and of course let me know if you guys are doing it let me know if you think it's a good idea um I'm not too sure. And as I say, this is just in response to that. There you go. There's a physical example of how I flat pack the boxes. Not everybody's cup of tea. I appreciate it. But I even remember Patriot Primes. You know, he was he had so many boxes. It was only a post the other month. Um, what to do with them all. So thankfully with this, I think for people, big collectors like ourselves and you guys, you know, before you know it, I know everybody always comments on things like your collections huge or whatever but it's just it's just masked up over time as i say i'm 43 years old it's just masked up over time and this is a brilliant way to to be able to keep keep the boxes um yeah and keep the figures out and still be able to display them and not have to take up too much space let me know what you guys think take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe